Hello everyone, in this video I will talk about uh, an easy way for subnetting and uh, I have collected four type of questions about subnetting uh, and I will show you an easy way to solve these questions. Uh, the first one is find subnet mask for shorthand 17253030 sometimes called cedar so uh, let's get started so if you have a questions this is the easiest uh, question about the subnet uh, when uh, it asks you to find the subnet mask for a shorthand for example 17 or sometimes says 20 or 30 and uh, sometimes the question will be like this so there is no difference so all your work will be on that cedar or shorthand as I told you this is the easiest uh, question so all you have to do uh, as you know uh, subnet is consist of four octet uh, each octet has eight bits so one two three four five six seven eight this is eight bits we need 17 one two three four five six seven eight and eight plus eight equals 16 and one is left so one one zero 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 and the rest will be zero okay and as you know uh, each these represent a number the first one is 128 64 32 16 8 4 2 and 1 so <clears throat> uh, if we calculate these numbers we get 255 five. also this one is 255 five, and this one we have 128 and the rest will be 0 so the subnet mask for the 17 is equals 255 255 five, one two eight zero so the next the example is for 20 how you calculate the subnet mass for 20 as I said we have four octet and uh, let's count from one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight this uh, 16 17, 18, 19, 20 and the rest will be 0 ok this will be 255 255 this is 128 64 32 16 if you sum of 1, 128, 64, 32, 16 this will equals So this will equal 240. So we have 240.0. So the subnet mask for this cedar will equal. Okay, as I said, this is the easiest. The question you get on subnetting so let's go to the next question uh, sometimes you have a question and uh, saying find network ID or network address or sometimes it asks you to find the subnet ID the network ID is the first IP 
number and uh, for finding the first IP number we have uh, three rules okay the three rules the first one is very easy it says if and before uh, I mentioned the first rule the three rules will work on the subnet mask so all your work will be on the subnet mask so if the subnet mask is equal to 55 what you do you put the IP number as it is you just put the IP number as it is but if the subnet mask is equal zero what you do you put zero so let's work on this two rules and then we go to the third one so, so I will take the first example 192 168 hundred one fifty four slash sixteen so uh, how you find the network ID for this first as I said we will work on the subnet mask so we have to find the subnet mask using the shorthand one two three four five six seven eight this is eight one two three four five six seven eight this is 16 and the rest will be 0 okay so the subnet mask for this shorthand or C there will be 255 255 so from here we can find the network ID the network ID as I said the first rule if the subnet mask is 255 we can just put the IP address and the second one 168 because we have 255 and the third octet because we have zero so we just put zero and the fourth octet also we put zero so the network ID or the first IP or the subnet ID for this network will be 192.168.0.0 okay so uh, <clears throat> let's go to the third rule the third rule says when you don't have 255 or there is no zero another number what we do so I will explain it uh, using this example 192 168 okay first let's find the subnet mask Eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight this is twenty four eight 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 twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven okay so this will be two five five two five five two five five this will be equal 128 plus 64 plus 32 this will be equals to 24 so the subnet mask for this network will be 255 255 255 224 so now if you want to find the network id It is easy 192 because you have 255 168 because we have 255 100 because we have 255 but here we have 224 it is not 0 and not 255 for this what we do we do a small calculation every time if you have a number not 255 and 0 get 256 minus 224 how much you get? You get uh, 32. Okay, after that, this number 
do an increment for itself so 32 plus 32 64 until you get a number close to this IP address so 32 64 96 96 plus 32 equals 1 to 8 1 to 8, 128 plus 32 equals 116. As you see, we reached a number which is close to that IP address and it is bigger than this. So we will find a number which is bigger than our IP and close to it. And then we use a number before it. Okay, we use a number before it. Uh, we just put it here it will be like 128 the network ID will be 192.168.128 so what we did we have uh, a number we call it a magic number minus our subnet mask we get a number and this number will be increased by itself 32 minus uh, 32 plus 32 64 64 plus the 32, 96 and so on until you get a number which is bigger than our IP address and close to it. Uh, let's explain another example to, to find out more. 172, 25, 167, 175 and the subnet 255. 255 240 and 0 if you want to find the network ID what you do as I said if it uh, if the subnet mask is 255 you just put the IP address and uh, the third octet is not 255 or 0 so let's leave it for now and this is we put zero because we have a subnet mask zero and for this as i said we have two five six minus two four zero equals 16. so what we do 16 16 plus 16 32 48 48 plus 16 64 64 plus 16 18 and so on 96 1 1 12 1 2 8 still we didn't reach this IP address so we have to continue increment the number uh, 144 116 176 so now this is the number which is close to our IP address and uh, this is bigger than this so we take a number which is smaller than or the first number before the uh, the last number we just put it here and this will be our network ID another type of questions is find broadcast address which is the last IP address how we find this we use the same rules which is used for the uh, the network ID but with a bit difference the three rules will be like this the first one is same if the subnet mask is 255 you just put the IP address okay but if the sub net mask is zero this time we not put zero we put two five five the last number and the third rule we explain it during uh, an example we have this example let's go through it 192.168.33 and we have a subnet mask 255 255 255 0 so the broadcast 
ID will be because we have 255 we just put the IP address and so on same for the third octet and for the last octet because we have zero we just put 255 and for the network ID or IP same and same same but because we have the zero in the fourth octet we just put zero so the network ID is zero and the broadcast ID will be 255 it's simple like this and uh, for the other rule for the other example we have another rule 192.168.233 we have the same IP with a different subnet mask 255248 how we find the broadcast ID as I said uh, if you have 255 as a subnet mask just put the IP address and for this what we do we do the calculation as we did for the uh, the network ID with a bit difference so what we do 256 minus the last uh, subnet 248 uh, what we get we get 8 so what we do we do the increment 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 8 24 24 plus uh, 8 32 32 plus 8 for T so we get a number which is bigger than our IP address in the network ID we were using that number which was before the last uh, biggest number but here we use the the last IP the last number minus 1 so in this case equals 39 we just put 39 here so it is very easy what you what we did 256 minus 248 equals 8 we do increment for this number by plus to itself uh, 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 8 24 32 40 is close number to this and bigger than the IP address uh, we use it this number to find the broadcast or last IP uh, just minus one and put the number will be the broadcast ID for example if we want to find the network ID it is easy same rules 192 168 dot 2 dot uh, we use this number which is before that we just put it without any extra calculation on it so this is the network ID another type of question asks you how to find the first valid host IP or sometimes ask you to find the last valid host IP uh, so let's get started with these two example uh, if I want to find the first valid IP for this IP address 10 42 15 90 19 uh, what we do first we have to find the subnet mask 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 uh, 1 2 3 4 this is 8 and 8 so this should be 3 So this will be 255, 255, uh, 128 plus 4, 64 plus 32 will be equals 224 and 0. So <coughs> for finding the first valid IP and the last 
the valid IP, we use the three rules as we used it before. So 10 is 10 because we have 255, so we use 10. We use uh, 42 because we have 255 as a subnet mask. And uh, we leave this octet because we have 224. And for the last IP, uh, we use zero because we want to find the first valid IP. So first we find the network ID. This will be the network ID. So let's find the, uh, the third octet. What we do, 256 minus two equals 32. So we do increment for this number until we get uh, an IP address which is bigger than this. 32 plus 32, 64. 64 is bigger than 50. So what we do, we use an IP which is uh, less than or the first number before the last one. So it is 32. So the first valid IP is the, this is network ID. This IP will not be used by any host. So the first ID will be this IP plus one. So it will be like 10, 42, 32 dot one. So this is the first valid IP address. So to find the first valid uh, IP address, what we do first, we do find the network ID first and then plus one will be the first valid IP. And to find the last valid host IP, what we do, uh, we use the we find the broadcast ID and then minus one will be the last valid host IP so let's explain it in one example uh, if we if, uh, if I want to find the last valid uh, IP for the same IP address uh, we use the same rules, but this time what we do, uh, uh, because we have 255, we just put the IP 42. And as I said before, the broadcast ID IP will be 255 if we have a zero. And for this, instead of using a number before the last number, we use the last number minus one. So this will be 63. So let's uh, find the first and last valid IP address for this example as well. One ninety two, one sixty eight, hundred one. Uh, before everything, we change this to a subnet mask. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight, 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 twenty four, twenty five. 26 27 right. okay this will be 255 255 255 dot uh, 128 plus 64 plus 32 is equals 224 so if you want to find network ID uh, as I said, if you have 255, you just use the IP address. But for the one which is not 0 or 255, we do a small calculation. 256 minus 224 is equals 32. And we do increment for this number. 32 plus 32, 64 until we get this number a number bigger than the ip address so we uh, we continue increment this number 
96 plus 32 128 128 plus 32 116 so 116 is a number which is bigger than the IP address and we use a number which the number before the last number we use 128 128 is the the network ID and the first valid IP will be 192.168.100.129 because plus one will be 129 this is network ID and this is the first valid IP if you want to find the broadcast IP or ID what we do as I mentioned before if you have 255 we just use 192.168 hundred and we use the last number minus one and we put it there it is one five nine this is broadcast IP but for the last valid IP minus one equals one ninety two one sixty eight hundred one five eight this will be the last valid IP uh, the other type of question is find the total number of subnets and total number of hosts. Uh, for this type of questions, first step you have to identify your IP class. As you know, we have uh, five classes, class A to E class A, class B, class C, class D, class E. Okay, class A start from 1 to 1 to 7, 1 to 8 to 191, 1 Two to four, two three nine, two four zero, two five four. So the range is uh, class A is one to one to seven, class B one to eight to one nine one, class C. This is the first octet. The first octet of your IP address. You can determine it which classes you have why you want to identify the classes because in class a we have uh, one network portion we have four octet as you as you know we have one network portion and the rest will be for the host in class B we have two network and two host in class C, we have three network and one host. Uh, this class D is used for video streaming and broadcasting and this uh, is not used frequently. So our focus will be on these three classes. So the, as I said, the first step is identify which classes you have. The second step, uh, we have a rule for number of total subnet is equal to power to number of subnets and the total hosts equal to power to number of hosts minus two it is minus two because one number is used for broadcast and one number is used for network ID. So let me explain it through one example. For example, uh, 1922, I have this IP address, 168.0.0 and we have a subnet mask, 255.255.255. Two four zero. 
so if it asks you how to find the total subnet and the total host what you do the first step as i said is identify which uh, which network you have here we have class c so from the class c we know that we have network and we have host three network and one host portion the second step what we do we change this to octet as you know this is eight and uh, this is 128 64 32 16 is equal Two four zero, so the rest will be zero. Okay, as I said, this is network portion. This is network portion. This is network portion because we have class C, so all work will be done here to find the network ID and net uh, host number. Sorry, the network total subnet and the total host. So two plus these are the network the subnet number so times 4 is equal 16 this is the total subnet for the host because we have four zeros the zeros are host the one are subnet so times 4 minus 2 16 minus 2 equals 14 so let me explain another example for example I have 172 21 0 .0 and I have a subnet mask If you want to find a uh, total number of subnet and host what you do first identify which classes you have as I mentioned 172 is belong class B so we have two network portion and we have two host portion the second step Convert this to the hexadecimal, so this 8 and 128 is the first one is on and the rest is off. Okay, so to find the total number of subnet, what we do. Uh, this is two network portion and we have two host so the work will be on this two two octet so the these are uh, represent the subnet number so we have eight here and one in this octet so it is nine so two time is nine will be the number of the subnet and it is equal to one five uh, sorry five twelve subnet okay so for the subnet we calculate the the octet the the bits which is on so we have eight and we have one here so this is nine and for the host we have this seven left so two times seven minus two uh, two times seven is equal one two one twenty six or one twenty eight minus two one twenty six hosts and if you have another example for the class a for example i have 127 35 
86.9 and I have a subnet mask like this I will use the same subnet mask and let's see what number we get as I said this is uh, class A so we have one network portion and the rest will be host so all work will be here so for calculating the total number of subnet we change these two hexadecimal so our work will be here for the number of the subnet we have 8 8 and 1 16 17 so this will be number of subnet and for the number of the host because we have only these zeros so 2 times 7 minus 2 it will be 126 hosts so we get the same number of hosts and uh, but different uh, this is a big number I have to calculate it and I will leave it for you thank you for watching and I hope this was a useful explanation for you